Hi everyone, this is my fourth episode where we'll talk about variables in C++ language. If you know about other programming languages like JavaScript, PHP, Python, where we can use our variables. Now also you can use variables in C++ programming as well. So I will show you definitions of uh, variables. Variable is used to store any type of value like integer value, like floating, floating point value, like string value, like character value. You can store any type of value, whatever you want in variables. Okay. So now here is another tip how we can tag variables in C++, how we can write variable in C++ language so here is already variable defined so i'll show you now here now you can see here is a variables int a equal to 10 that's mean we are we are including 10 value into a variables okay and now here now you can see there is different there is uh, another uh, data type defined int basically int is integer which i already told you in my previous uh, uh, video because we are uh, when we will store any uh, numeric value that's uh, for that we have to choose integer if you are using a floating point value like uh, 2.5 and now here you, you are variables now a equal to 2.5 we are storing 2.5 value into a before that you have to type variable whatever uh, sorry data type whatever data type you are using basically now you, here you can see a pointing value so for that we have to choose plot and here is character section equal to a we are including a into sections so basically uh, now here you, you can see in single quotes a for that we have to type character variable character data types and also here is a string data types and name equal to student's name we are, we are including this student's name uh, in double quotes we are including into name variable which i already take here name equal to student's name so for that we have to uh, choose string data types okay so i will show you in next video how <coughs> you can write a variable in real practical uh, example in our core block text editor so th uh, this is our presentations so i'll show you one more thing uh, variables in C++ basically valid and invalid variable if you know about uh, valid and invalid variables so that's well if you don't know so now uh, let's check it out so basically valid variable if you want to create a variable like in my previous uh, tips here you can see uh, int a equal to 10 we are storing 10 value into a a is a variable name okay so there is a uh, basically there is section there is name and now here you can see there is no numeric value or no uh, minus sign or plus signs and now here you can see you can use a uh, valid variable as well like this a a two uh, a two three four z underscore one underscore two a underscore b you can use this variables this type of uh, value to store this type of variable to store any type of value and here is invalid variable now you can see 2a you can't use this like means 2a equal to 10 you can't use because 2 is a numeric value it will not store that it will not store uh, it will not store that value into this variable because this is invalid variable and here now you can see q equal to uh, q minus 4 uh, this is invalid variable because there is a special character minus sign okay and here is c out so basically c out is a keyword uh, which we are printing to text uh, our, our screen i already told you in my second video okay so you can't write c out because the uh, uh, these are the uh, this uh, because it is a uh, keyword of c++ language and you can't use a plus b equal to some value because there is a special character plus sign so this is invalid variable and this is valid variable you can use these variables okay these valid variables you can't use this invalid variable to store any type of value otherwise it will give us an error so make sure so that was a quick uh, tutorial about uh, variables and valid and invalid variables so i'll talk to you in next episode uh, next episode so in next episode we will write some uh, special example in practical I will <coughs> so i will meet you in another uh, part so thanks for watching